Hello. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? It's Tuesday night, it's raining. I had to go out earlier today, I got rained on. And yeah, it's been a pretty good day. Uh, and it, it's been an extremely weird few days, but uh, overall really good. How are you doing? I'll wait for an answer. Good to hear. I'm so glad every single one of you watching right now is doing great. Um, this is, uh, if, if you saw my post or the thing I said at some other time, I forget when, uh, this is not a full show this evening. Uh, I will be doing a couple of songs as, uh, as just sort of a treat and a thank you and all that stuff. This is kind of a general uh, recap and a couple of other things here. If you want to read these, you can't. Can you read backwards? the whole damn thing's backwards. Um, so last week, there were three, I would say, big shows. Um, Wednesday, Catherine and I did the Glue Izumi show, uh, which anyone who tuned in, thank you. If you haven't tuned in, easy to find on YouTube. I did share the link. Uh, if you want to message me, I can share it again. Absolutely. Um, that was a fun show, and uh, we love Joel and Carrie and everything they do. Uh, that was exciting. And then Thursday, you know, Catherine and I did our gig, which um, I I loved doing. I loved the set and the way we put it together and everything. I hope we you did too. Yes! She's here. Shh. She's in the back. That's where we keep her. And then Saturday, Rick, which is me, did a live <laughs> show through this company, Afton, and the way I described it is the way, you know, it, it actually came about in a sense is in that the it, it's like wreck like you've never heard wreck because uh, it, it's not like a live show where you're lucky if you get a good, you know, sound guy who's paying attention to the, <laughs> you know, the instruments and your voice and all that stuff. Sometimes it can be awesome. Sometimes you never know. It's not like the shows on Facebook Live where everything's coming through this little microphone right here. It was all of the music and vocals and guitar piped right in to your ears. And it was very exciting. And then uh, something happened mm -hmm. to the audio. And uh, we're still not sure what happened. Afton isn't even sure what happened. And so the bad news is the people who tuned in, first of all, Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so glad you did. Um, there's nothing like a live audience to play in front of. And uh, that was great. But second of all, there's some good news. And that is that while I was performing, I made the decision in advance to record everything. And I had one program recording the video and one program recording the audio. And after the show and after we realized, you know, the audio had some issues, I put the two together and rendered it and Catherine spent some time editing and uh, putting captions on it and the whole thing. And so what that means is all of you who pay good money to see this show are going to get to see it and hear it the way it was meant to be. Uh, we're in the process of finishing up the last couple things on that video and we'll be uploading it either tonight or tomorrow and as soon as we do I'm going to be sharing that link that exclusive link to the people who bought tickets um, so again thank you and I, I wanted to get this out as quickly as possible we did because you know uh, a, a, a thing happening like that is never fun and we want to make sure we honor the people who are honoring us and uh, and uh, along with that, because we now have this great quality audio and video, anyone else who wants to see the show, uh, it was $7. If you want to throw me $7 on Venmo or PayPal, I will send you the link too. It's a private link, so that's how you get it. But um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be there until the internet dies. So, uh, you know, you, 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 anyone who wants to see it, Either if you've bought a ticket or would like to buy a ticket, you can absolutely see it. I will share that link with you. I put that, that information up above in my tag, and um, I will be posting it again after the show just for the people who, you know, uh, missed it. And that's like last week. So why am I not doing a whole show tonight? Well, I mean, there are a lot of reasons, but 
The main reason is this. After months and months of development and years and years of creating content, and especially in this last year, I am announcing that we are officially launching my YouTube page. My YouTube page called Music is Not a Genre, It's Everything. That was the small print under there, that's why I whispered. And Music is Not a Genre, Is Everything is my YouTube page. And it contains everything that, that I have done, essentially. It, I, I, re I release two podcasts every single week. Uh, I, we do all these live shows. Uh, any of the shows, Facebook Live, are also on that site. Uh, there are playlists made and links to all of the music by my band Rec and me and me as a solo artist because there's such a huge difference. Um, all there as well. All of the released music, older music, classic music, and the newer music, new music as it comes out. So, so what is on that page? Music is not a genre. My YouTube page. Two new podcasts every week. Live shows uploaded every week. So if you missed them on Facebook, go there and links to all the recorded material as well, playlists of all that stuff. Um, it would be great if you could subscribe to that. We uh, just finished, I, uh, I recorded some videos about the hows and whys of why am I doing this? Why is music not a genre? What am I doing at all? Who, what the hell does any of this mean? And Catherine took all of that wild material and edited it down into an awesome short video that is an intro video to the YouTube page. And we just uploaded it today. So that's why this is the official launch. Uh, that link is also above. Underneath the ticket and Venmo PayPal information is the link to that video directly. And when you get there, you will be on my page, YouTube page, Music Is Not A Genre, It's Everything. Please do subscribe, please share it. If you know anybody who just can't get enough of music, who can't get music out of their heads, who music is a part of their lives, share this site with them. Ask them to subscribe, subscribe and, and share links to the videos and all of that stuff because that's what this site is about. That's what I'm about. Uh, and a huge thanks to Catherine who's <laughs> behind the camera. Yeah for doing that video. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very excited actually to be launching this because it does kind of encapsulate and encompass so many of the things that I'm interested in I'm doing that I feel are uh, valuable to the world, valuable to others, and to kind of, you know, get through this idea that it's not just that music is not a genre and is connected to everything and that all kinds of music is are connected to all other kinds of music. And I talk about that, but it's also, it, it, it's also that uh, genres being labels are, are the things that we are trying to, you know, disabuse ourselves of right now. To, to say that when you label something, when you label a person, when you label a group of people, when you label a, an ideology even, you're limiting what it can be. You're limiting what that person can be. What, you know, you're narrowing the idea of, of what uh, the identity of a song is or a band or a type of music or a person or an institution, any, any of that stuff. And that's all tied in to what I'm doing on that site. So that's the big announcement. And as a thank you for listening to that big announcement, I'm going to play a couple of cover songs. And these cover songs are from different eras. One's from, um, I would say, my era, and one's from an era like maybe a little before that. And I'm going to do a kind of a very, very, very short... Uh, version of what I do in my podcast with the added bonus of I'm actually going to play the songs. So this first song was released, I believe, in 1990 by uh, a band called Big Audio Dynamite 2, which um, was a band that came out of the band Big Audio Dynamite, which was a band that came out of the band TRAC, which was a band that was formed, all of these bands were formed by Mick Jones of The Clash. When he left The Clash, he didn't stop doing music. He still did great music, and that's what all this is. This song by Big Audio Dynamite 2 was their biggest hit, and, um, and it's called Rush. <laughs> if I had my time again, I would do it all the same 
and not change a single thing even when I was to blame for the heartache and the pain that I caused throughout my years how I love to be a man through the laughter and the tears situation no win rush for a change of atmosphere I can't go on so I give in gotta get myself right out of here now I'm fully grown and I know where it's at somehow I stayed thin while the other guys got back all the chances that are blown and the times that I've been down didn't get too high kept my feet on the ground situation no win rush for a change of atmosphere I can't go on so I give in gotta get myself right out that song is that uh, it used like 22 samples from other songs or something like that uh, ranging from uh, Rapper's Delight to The Who to a Peter Sellers recording it, it's insane actually how much stuff to uh, the song Here Comes the Judge uh, is like I just read up on it and I had have remembered hearing the, the Who one and all that stuff um, but I had no idea it used that many so one more song for you. And then Catherine and I will be back on Thursday with something completely different. And now for something completely different. And now it's time to break <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and this song was uh, just a few years before. And was actually recently redone by one of the original artists and somebody new. Um, this is a song by the band Buffalo Springfield which included Stephen Stills, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. And he partnered with a producer, I assume, and Billy Porter to do a remake of this song, uh, which I thought was pretty good, actually. Um, Billy Porter brought his stuff, let me tell you. And uh, Stephen Stills was in the video, too. It was very cool. And they, you know, they kind of reimagined it, but kept the original spirit, which I like. And uh, if you don't know what it is yet, now you know. There's 
something happening here What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I've got to beware I think it's time we stop Children, what's that sound? Everybody knows what's going on There's battle lines being drawn Nobody's right if everybody's wrong Young people speaking their minds Are getting so much resistance from behind I think it's time we stop Gee, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going on day for the heat a thousand people in the streets singing songs and carrying signs mostly say hooray for our side it's time we stop hey what's that sound everybody knows what's going Paranoia strikes deep Into your life it will creep It starts when you're always afraid You step out of line, man, come and take you away It's time we stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down Stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look See you Thursday.